So if you're finally in Luxembourg and you're looking for accommodation, but if you're struggling to find something. So now that you have secured that job, the next thing would be for you to find accommodation. And we all know that accommodation in Luxembourg is very, very tough to find. But do not worry. Sophie is here for you. And I'm going to list down some of the five, my five best locations that you can find accommodation, which is quite affordable, not cheap, but affordable. Because according to Luxembourg standard, these areas that I'm going to mention to you, they are quite very affordable and you can be able to find something within your budget. So the first one would be, that is the Esh Su Al Z. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't think I'm pronouncing it right, but well, that is, um, you see around, I've written down the name of the place. It's something like Esh Alzo Al Z. <laughs> it's located in the western part of Luxembourg and is the second largest city in Luxembourg. So if for many of you, uh, if you do not know, this place is the second largest city in Luxembourg and the accommodation there is quite very affordable. There are so many people actually who live there and they work in Luxembourg city. It's not, as you know, Luxembourg, definitely transport is free in Luxembourg. So getting along to any place is not that hard in terms of, uh, of, of, of money. You can go anywhere because it's affordable. It's um, it's 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 you do not have to pay for any transport. So living as far away from the city as possible is not such a bad thing. The only problem would be maybe in the morning when there's a lot of traffic, like people, everyone there's that kind of traffic. Everyone is rushing to work and stuff like that. So it may be quite hard. You may spend a lot of time on the trains or on the bus. But Esh is one of those places that many people are living in, and it's quite affordable. So if you're in Luxembourg and you're trying to look for accommodation. S should be your one, number one place. It has, a place, it has one of the, the biggest concert halls in Luxembourg. So, I mean, if you're living in Esh, you'll be lucky to always go and watch all the, the concerts from the different artists. For example, let's say John Legend was there. I don't know who, I don't know who, Nicki Minaj. So you'll be able to, you, you have accessibility to, to go to the rock hall, so to the biggest concert, biggest concert hall in Luxembourg. So you'll be covered. You don't have to be like some of us who have to move the whole way from Luxembourg City to go that side. So that place is very good. So if you're looking for accommodation, Esh, so as it should be that place for you then my second my second would be belva trust me my pronunciations are absolutely very wrong but i will leave down the spellings of these places so you can read them out for yourselves uh, the second is belva it's a popular choice for many students because it it has it that's where the University of Luxembourg is situated. So you'll find that it's a, it's a favorable for students. So if you know that you're a student and you're in Luxembourg, you're trying to get accommodation, that area is good for you. It's not only for students. I mean, if you're not a student as well and uh, you're looking for somewhere to live, that place is also a, a, is also a favorite for many people. So and it's quite affordable. It's within many people's budgets. It will, it will give you you'll be able to save and you do do all sorts of things. So Belva should be your second choice. And then the the third my third would be Mash. I hope I'm pronouncing these things right. As always, my pronunciation is just not the best. But forgive me for that. But you get the point of the places. So the second would be uh, Mash. It's in the center. Is in it's in the central. It's located in the central, uh, the central area of Luxembourg. It's also not uh, the, the accessibility is quite to the cities. It's quite very good. You there's, there's you can use the bus. There are the trains. There are actually quite a number of people living in Mesh. That some of my friends that I know are living in Mesh, and they say it's really good. It has a uh, um, very apparently the uh, how do they call it a uh, castles. I mean, some some very nice, interesting castle. It's it, it's out of the city, so you have. But if you if you love nature, it's the perfect place for you. So check out Mesh. And then the fourth one for me would be Remish. Remish is located in the banks of the Moselle River at the border of, of Luxembourg and Germany. So this is a this is a favorite for many who uh, for many Germans. You know there are some Germans who live in who live uh, who come from German to come and work in Luxembourg. So Remish is, a, is 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 one of a favorite for many people who live in German who are German. So that to be much easier for them. You know it's just at the border of German, so you don't have to come that very far, that very up to the city here. So Remish is a favorite for many people. So if you're new to Luxembourg, go check out Remish. The accommodation there is quite affordable. I mean you have access to to the river Moselle. Uh, it's also one of those uh, small towns that are well known 
for, for production of wines. Most of the wines from Luxembourg come from that area. So you'll be able to have access to the vineyards. You can go visit the vineyards, go check out those uh, wine testing and stuff like that. It's quite, it's, it's very, it's, it's actually, it's really, really good. It's like out in nature and stuff like that. So if you're looking for accommodation, check out Remy. Wilts. Wilts. Wilts is located in the northern part of Luxembourg. And it's well known for its castle, good for nature. I have been to Wilts. I think the time when we were looking for, when we were trying to search for houses and stuff like that, we went to Remish. I saw that it's it's one of those towns that is developing. So many people, there are many, many, uh, so many these uh, real estate uh, companies have so many of their homes there that they're constructing for people to buy and sell. So it's an upcoming town. So meaning that uh, there are, there's lots of um, lots of new things happening there. It's uh, there is uh, you, you, it, the neighboring places. Uh, um, how do they call it? Um, uh, Ectena? No, 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 Ectena. It's uh, I can't pronounce it. One of these places just confuses me. But it's called, it's called Ectena, yes. It's it's not very far from Ectena. You can also be able to, from, from Wilt, you can go to Vianden. That's where there's one of that, that famous castle in Luxembourg. So, Rem, so, so Wilt is one of those places that is really developing and so many people like it. But the downside of most of these places is that they are quite far from uh, Luxembourg City. So it, during the times of traffic, you have to, you spend some number of, you spend a number of time on in, during in traffic, but... I mean, it's not so bad. Sometimes if you, depending on the times that you wake up and these days there's a lot of uh, home working, you know, people, many organizations are encouraging people to work from home. So it doesn't really matter where exactly you stay as long as you're happy, you're safe and you you know, accommodation and your budget, it's within your budget. Then you don't feel so overwhelmed with the, with the rent. So those are some of the five, my five, my five places that I would recommend for people who are coming to Luxembourg to live. But we have there several more, so many several more examples. I have more, it's just that these were my best five. So some of them we have um, Eto, Eto Brack, pronunciation as always. There's Eto Brack, there is Ectena, there is uh, Dekish, there is, uh, what else, um, uh, um, I don't know, the pronunciations are quite many. But yeah, those are some of my many, my five best places that you could go and find accommodation. So if you're in Luxembourg and you're struggling with accommodation, please go check out these places. You'll be able to get affordable uh, affordable places to live. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that's it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe like comment share with your friends many people are searching for this kind of information and let's grow my channel and uh, so that's it thank you so much goodbye see you next time